Hello, friends. On the channel Art in the Interior talk about creating a boss relief with your own hands for beginners. If you have never practiced boss relief, it is better to choose such images that will gradually become more complex. It's easiest to start with simpler images. I started out in my practice executing images using Mastichin. And also with the help of a package. You can use a pastry syringe instead of a bag, who likes it better. I usually use the bag specifically. It is very convenient to use a bag to make thin lines, but it is better to use ready-made decorative plaster, as it is thinner and more plastic. In my video you can see very well that the images with thin lines I always make decorative plaster ready without filler and plaster, it has such a white pure color different from plaster on a gypsum basis, the base for the boss relief can be different, it can be just a plastered wall or a wall with a decorative coating, as in my case, also it can be a painted wall here I do not primed anything additionally, I applied the drawing with ordinary interior paint of white color, and then I already do the drawing with. This material is dry and is diluted with water. The proportions listed are usually on the plaster bag. I never measure, always do by eye. Choosing a plaster for the boss relief. Make sure she keeps her altitude. If it is a ready-made decorative plaster, it is very convenient to use plaster with cellulose filler. If not, any gypsum plaster will do, but there are types of plaster that will be better, in that they hold more height, don't crack, and don't run off. Popular ones used by many craftsmen are Knopf plaster. I used blind satin in my last job. I liked it a lot, and it's used universally here. The working time of the plaster can be up to 40 to 50 minutes, so do not try to dilute a large amount at once, it is better to dilute gradually. How carefully you need to approach the execution of the boss relief also depends on what it will be in the end. Will you have it white or will it be stained? In my video tutorials, if you've been on the boss relief creation playlist, You've seen the options in the white image, and have also seen how color can change the perception of volume. If you haven't watched these tutorials yet, be sure to check them out. Link to lessons on creating a boss relief with your own hands, and painting it in the description of this video. In this lesson, I show you a snippet of the 2016 work. Here I have a low boss relief and painting in the center of the wall. Boss relief is also often used exactly on the edge of the image in order to emphasize the foreground, to bring it closer. From the photos, the finished image doesn't look like there's any boss relief, but you can still see the relief in person. Plus, you can touch it, which is especially good when you have small children at home. But it's a plus for developing fine motor skills. The paint that the boss relief is painted with washes well, so it's not terrible for the boss relief. But, of course, choose a quality paint so that the care of the boss relief is easy, and the boss relief will last a long time. To create a colored boss relief it is not at all necessary to make it very high. The way the color eats away the volume is very evident in one of my boss relief video tutorials. If your boss relief will be white, then naturally you need to take a lot of time, effort and carefully create a beautiful texture. Here in this video I create basic volumes using a mastichin. Naturally I lay down the texture. Naturally laying down the veins of the leaves, so that it is clear that they are leaves, what kind of leaves. I also lay the bird, bird plumage and all the subtle elements I do already with ready-made decorative plaster. These are thin twigs of vines, and at first we always perform the far plan of the boss relief, and then gradually gain height. 
That is, the closer the elements are to us, the later they will be executed. This way you can more successfully create planarity in your image. It is also possible to perform boss relief in both two stages and three stages. If you do not sand anything between coats, it is not necessary to primer. That is, you dry the first layer and then apply the second layer to achieve the required height. Plaster on the gypsum base as a rule is not very much does not dry up, does not shrink, and does not give cracks. Another simple option for creating vase relief for beginners is the use of various stencils, but also pay attention to the fact that the edges of the future image were neat here, you need to be more carefully approached to the preparation of the picture, and to the fact that you have a stencil on the wall, did not leave any traces. If you use any adhesive tape and your wall is plastered and painted, be prepared for the fact that in case of poor interlayer priming, you will have just a piece of paint along with plaster from the wall and you will have to repair it, so the use of stencils in interiors should always be very careful also to peel off part of the wall along with paint plaster with paint can and not only stencil but even ordinary painter's tape, so be careful when doing the work and try to priming the wall well and qualitatively before all stages of work. Unlike a painting, a boss relief cannot be so easily and easily fixed on the wall because it has volume. Therefore, before you start making boss relief on the surface of the wall, make a preliminary sketch, make a mark upon paper, think through everything, only then transfer the image to the wall, and then already perform boss relief. The finished boss relief must be well dried, sanded, then primed, and after that it can be painted with white paint or painted, as you have a project. To make creating work a joy for you, don't set high bar for yourself right away. Go to success gradually, gradually complicate the work, gradually complicate the types of boss relief, and then, learning constantly at each new stage, at each new drawing, you will improve your technique more, and your images will gradually become more interesting, more complex, more technical. and you will have a constant desire to grow and improve. You will constantly experience joy in what you are doing. If you set a high bar for yourself, you may not be able to reach it, and then you will have no desire to move anywhere. So take the feasible images to perform, take your time. One of these simple images I consider to be specifically the grapevine. It looks beautiful as it is in white. Video lesson on this topic you will also find on my channel link will be in the description to this video, and also the vine looks beautiful, and in the painted version at the this version of the boss relief vine. It is not difficult to perform. With the help of a mastichin, you can make a very simple image, and you can complicate it, work through each leaf, and create a more complex boss relief of a vine. So there is always something to learn here. Well, friends, thank you for your attention. See you in the new video lessons. I hope that this video was useful to you if you are just starting to master the technique of boss relief, or maybe you already perform boss reliefs and found here something interesting for you very grateful to you for viewing, for comments that you write, for feedback, for likes. So write, ask questions, I'll be sure to answer them. Join our contact group, post photos of your work, share your successes, results.
and see you in the new video lessons that are now on the channel every Thursday. Bye bye. With you as artist Natalia Bobrova.